Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to connect your domain to your uh, BuildRoll account. So in this example, we're talking about uh, BuilderAllU.com and this is the landing page. It's still in development. It's still early. By the time you see it, this page is totally different already. But what you have to look at is this. RandyHerman.ob10.com slash BuildRoll101. This is where you have to send your people to and this doesn't look that nice. We want people to go to BuildRollU.com and actually land on this page. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go to Builder and we're going to go to drag and drop site builder, my sites. And then here you can see all these sites. First you have to make sure it's active. And in this case it's already active. That's why we could have gone to this website. And what we have to do now is we go to more options and we press connect domain. If you go through the steps, you will see that you have to connect your name server to point towards the server of BuildRoll. And how we're gonna do that, in this case, I host it on GoDaddy. So we're gonna select the name server. And if you look good, we can say copy. If you look, it says ns2.l4dns.com. And this is ns1.l4dns.com. So I only have to copy it once and then change the one into the two and I am done. So I'm gonna go to GoDaddy. I'm gonna go to my account. I'm already logged in, but I press here, go to my domains. And whatever domain service you're using, it doesn't really matter as long as you go and look for the name server. And how you're gonna do that is you're gonna find your domain and then you find your domain configurations. And from there, you will find something that says change DNS or change the name server or something along those lines. Here, I've got builderallu.com and I click on it and I say set name server. So now it's charging and here you see the records. You can already see the name server over here, but GoDaddy has an amazing feature which makes it a lot more easy to change the name server and that's this tab here, name servers. It's so gonna press change, put a custom name server, paste these and then change this one to two. That's all you have to do. So we're going to save it. And once we saved it, it's over there. We go back to our, um, yeah, builder all admin office. And in here we say builderallu.com. We press save. And probably we have to wait for uh, about an hour or so. It also says it right there in the settings. But if I click on here, maybe it's already working. That would be really fast. But in an hour from now, this is gonna be working. So once you did that, normally uh, everything should be configured. Right now you see connection timeout. That's because the name server is not configured correctly. So this is the video. I hope you guys uh, find this useful. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to connect your email address and uh, create email addresses like paypal at builderallu.com or randy at builderallu.com because we can make a lot of email addresses and I'm going to show you how in the next video. Thank you for watching.